In this demo, we're going to see how to use the updated version of the Virtual Machine Role authoring tool to test and deploy Virtual Machine Role resource extensions to Microsoft Azure Virtual Machines. I'm logged into my Microsoft Azure account here, and what I'm going to do is create a couple of virtual machines. I choose the From Gallery option, and I can choose either a pre-configured Azure image, which I will do in this case, and choose Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center. I provided a name, and I set the initial administrator account. On the next page, I can choose an existing cloud service, or I could create a new one. And on the final page, I want to make sure that I install the VM agent, so I want to leave this default checkbox checked. And that machine is going to take just a few minutes to spin up. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to create another machine. And I'm also going to choose from gallery, but this time I'm going to choose a custom image that I've uploaded. I have a sysprep instance of SQL Server 2008 R2 uploaded. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to give it a name as well. And again, set the initial administrator account. I'll add this also to an existing cloud service that I already have. And here I'm going to add an endpoint so that I can communicate with the virtual machine over HTTP so that we can easily test our resource extension after it's been deployed. Again, I have to leave the VM agent checkbox checked in order to use uh, this functionality. And I'll complete. Again, these machines are going to take just a few minutes to spin up, so I will come back and we will proceed with the demo once that's done. Our first machine is done provisioning, so while we're waiting on the second one to finish up, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to browse to the WebPI feed, and we have a separate blog post on, on this one that will show you how to download a number of sample items. And in my Service Models feed, I'll select Gallery Resources. And you can see we have a number of items here available uh, from SharePoint, SharePoint Foundation, SQL Server, and so forth. I'm going to choose a simple one called a custom script gallery resource. I'll add it, choose install, accept the license agreement. And WebPI has gone ahead and downloaded that and opened up the folder into which it's been downloaded. I have my updated version of the authoring tool right here. And all I'll do is grab the resource extension package and drag it into the authoring tool. Now you can see that this extension has a single script application that's going to allow me to enter a series of script commands that I want to run, and it has a number of parameters as well. From here I can simply choose to deploy, and I'll deploy the resource extension to Microsoft Azure. I've pre-filled in my subscription ID and my management cert thumbprint. I choose the cloud service that hosts the virtual machine I'm interested in. And then I choose the virtual machine to which I want to deploy this resource extension. On the next page, I'll be asked to provide values for any parameters. So for my script block, we'll do something simple, and we'll make a directory. And in that directory, we'll use our obligatory uh, Hello World app and echo that text into a file. I also have to provide a credential uh, for this resource extension in order to execute these script commands. I'm going to use the administrator account that I specified when provisioning the virtual machine. And I could override the timeout value here and decide where I want to write standard error and standard output that may come from those script commands, but I'm just going to leave the defaults. Now before I click to deploy, I wanted to show you that we have two options up here. One, by clicking the script icon, you can see the actual settings that we're going to go ahead and pass in to the uh, VM, and by clicking the PowerShell button, I can actually generate a PowerShell script that can be used to automate this deployment of this resource extension. And you could imagine that you could take this script output and augment a VM creation script using Windows Azure PowerShell so that you could provision a VM and deploy our resource extension all in one script. For the purposes of this demo though, I'm going to complete this operation through the wizard, so I'm simply going to click the Deploy button. 
Now this deployment is pretty simple and it should just take a couple minutes, uh, but our resource extension, our extension handler, will actually be installed into the virtual machine. The settings that the tool is generated will be provided to that extension handler, and our agent then will enact that configuration inside the VM. So if we switch back to our Azure portal, this will switch at one point to installing extension and you'll uh, see that happen and you'll know that our extension, our agent, is being installed inside the VM and the settings are then going to be passed to that agent. For now, however, let's just go ahead and log into that VM and we can see if the results of our uh, deployment have been successful. So logged into the machine, I'm going to go ahead and open up Windows Explorer. You can see that our demo directory did get created, and inside of it is our text file and our Hello World message. So that's a pretty simple uh, resource extension. What I'll do next is show you a custom resource extension that installs a number of different application artifacts. So I'm going to disconnect my session from this virtual machine. You can see that the authoring tool uh, also tells us that the operation is completed successfully. I could go ahead and copy these results out, and if the deployment completed with uh, warnings or errors, those would also similarly be surfaced, and I could copy those out for further inspection and troubleshooting. So I have two uh, resource extensions, and the first one that we're going to deploy is uh, Pet Shop. And just to give you an idea of Pet Shop, it enables 23 different roles and features. It installs a web deploy application. It executes a couple of provisioning scripts. It has a number of script commands that are associated with it. It will complete the installation of a prepared instance of SQL Server and also go ahead and install and configure four different SQL databases. It also takes a number of parameters that we'll go ahead and fill out during deployment. So let's get going. I'll highlight that resource extension. I'll click Deploy and Deploy to Microsoft Azure. And again, I'll go ahead and choose the cloud service to which I want to deploy and the virtual machine. And because this resource extension has payload, such as the scripts that we're going to run, the web deploy package, the database applications, and so forth, uh, I have to provide a storage account and a container to which I want to upload that payload at deployment time. If I've already uploaded them, perhaps from a previous deployment or out of band, I could tell the tool that the required resources are already there. And I could also have the tool delete the payload uh, from my storage account to save costs over time after the deployment's completed. I'll go ahead and leave those two options uh, unchecked for now and move to the parameters page. This is the name of a SQL user that I'm going to create for my web application, along with the password for that user that I want to specify. And I have to provide a credential to run some scripts inside the machine. Because I'm completing the installation of a prepared instance of SQL, I have to provide at least one account. That's going to be a SQL sysadmin, along with a credential to install SQL Server itself. And finally, because I specified uh, SQL authentication, I need to provide the password for the built-in SA account. So now that that's done, again, I can choose to save these settings out or view them view my PowerShell script, but I'm going to go ahead and complete the deployment. Now the deployment of Pet Shop uh, with all the artifacts that have to be installed usually takes, uh, in my environments and my experience, uh, five to seven minutes or so. Uh, your mileage may vary, and I will wait for that deployment to complete, and we'll take a look at the output. So our deployment has completed, and you can see once again, we've logged all the steps. Uh, and as you can see in this one, there are quite a number of steps that uh, have been done inside the virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out and let's make sure that everything worked. So if I go back into my Azure portal, I'm going to go ahead and grab a link to that virtual machine over HTTP. And I know that my Pet Shop application actually installs underneath the directory. So we'll wait for this to take place and we should see our great Pet Shop application open up here in the browser. And there it is. So, what's next? Uh, well, we've deployed a custom script extension, we've deployed a pretty complex Pet Shop application, and now I'll show you how you can go ahead and update uh, a resource extension that's already been deployed to an Azure VM. So I'm going to go back into my authoring tool, and I have another version of this resource extension, which is Pet Shop V2, 
and it's very similar to Pet Shop V1, only the web deploy package uh, has been changed. So we're going to go ahead and deploy this one. We're going to make sure that we deploy to the same virtual machine. And because this has different payload, I'm going to put it into a different container. And because I've already uploaded this payload, I'll check this box. That'll make the deployment go just a little bit faster. And again, I have to provide uh, values for the parameters that are declared in this extension. So now that that's done, I'll click the Deploy button. And because we're not deploying the entire application again, we're just going to diff what's currently on the VM or was last deployed with what we're deploying now and figure out the differences there and try to apply those. Uh, this one should be substantially faster, maybe a, a minute or two. So I'll come back once that deployment is complete. And now that that's done, let's go back and check our Pet Shop application. And I'm just going to refresh the page and you can see that the image is flipped upside down. So we know that our updated web deploy package has been installed. I can click on Fish and back to .NET Pet Shop uh, and all that good stuff. So that concludes the demo. I hope that you found this very informative and useful and that you go ahead and try out this new functionality. Thank you very much.